What's going on guys, it is Bergs back here once again for a review and today we have Skull Wintergreen Bandits. Before we go any further, let's get a look at the presentation. Metal lid, plastic bottom, silver rim, um, pinch better since 1934 written across the top, Skull Wintergreen Bandits in varying colors. Then on the side we have net weight 0.49 ounces, tax class M, US smokeless, Nashville, Tennessee, skull.com, 100% American, uh, sale only allowed in the United States, underage sale prohibited, date is sell by June 12th, 2016. Um, on the inside, just from the front, the skull imprint, here are the pouches themselves, scent, similar to but different from the classic wintergreen pouches. Um, there's still a lot of that almost sour tobacco scent, but also um, a little bit sweeter wintergreen mixed in. It's almost like a cross between uh, Skull Classic Wintergreen Pouches and Coat Wintergreen Pouches if you were to mix those two. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is these are uh, fairly small. Actually, we'll do a comparison because the other thing I picked up uh, was some Longhorn Wintergreen Pouches. So we'll do a side-by-side -side, uh, of the two. Here's the Longhorn and here's the bandit. Um, they're actually about the same length, but uh, you can tell that the longhorn definitely has a bit more in it. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be in the next few days. Uh, longhorn water green pouches. Um, so anyway, take two of these. Um, and the other thing I was going to mention, they're more like uh, snooze sized, or depending on brand, that's about the size that they are but brown, but still light brown. Uh, I mean, they're in date, but they're also not particularly moist. Um, they're they're kind of like general snus almost, maybe a little bit more moisture. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we're here today because I am doing everything I possibly can to procrastinate studying for finals. Um, but I will have to get to that at some point. But I thought uh, making a video would be a great idea to just put that off for another hour or so. So, bandits come in wintergreen and mint. Already reviewed the mint. Uh, I believe they came out in the 90s. Don't quote me on it but they've been out for a while. Um, big thing, smaller pouches. Um, I believe they were the first pouch dip out there. Um, kind of interesting. At the same time, uh, I don't necessarily see the point anymore. Um, it's kind of hard to find them. They're not everywhere. You can find them though. Um, I just kind of at a loss for why they keep them around when they make, you know, wintergreen mitten straight in pouches and then every flavor of Skull Extra in pouches right now. Anyway, um, to me it just seems like too many of the same type of products uh, by the same company, but that's just my little two cents. So. Price on them, uh, they're at whatever full price Skull was. This was two dollars and sixty cents after tax, so I guess it was about two forty nine. Um, not bad. Uh, texture, burn. There's a slight burn, but they're up top. But it's not bad. Uh, probably if I had them on the bottom, I wouldn't feel anything at all. Well, move them to the bottom, and we'll see.
texture is good. I mean, it's it's uh, the only difference is they're not as full of the pouches. They're just kind of they're pretty light. They're pretty thin. Pretty easy to conceal at the same time. I mean, you can't really tell when I have a dip in anyway because of my beard, but uh, you definitely can't see these too well. So the taste on them, it's not really that great. It tastes a lot like uh, classic wintergreen pouches. Uh, described them before in the review as uh, more sour wintergreen. Um, I think they have a, quite a different taste than the long cut. Uh, but this tastes pretty close to them. Maybe a little bit sweeter, but not by much. Not as much as it smelled. Um, Yeah, yeah. I think um, probably a little bit sweeter and a little bit better than the classic wintergreen pouches, but it's still not the best. Still has that. It's not even to me. It's not even a tobacco taste. It's just a sour taste, uh, which I think is strange. But everybody seems to describe Skull Classic Wintergreen in a different way, and uh, so yeah. So let's do some shout outs. Full review, Stoker's Dipper, the Georgia Dippers, the Peach Pride Dippers, uh, Rotators, Jaden Embry, uh, Real Time Dipping, and Patsy Carroll. Check all of them out. Uh, number of subscribers is 330. And the rating out of 10 on this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a six out of 10. Not bad, not fantastic I would not buy these again I think um, I believe the mint I did on the channel was out of date but uh, the mint bandits uh, but I believe when I had it before that when they were in date that uh, they weren't too bad um, but yeah these not not very good I don't really care for them Comparable dip is Skull Wintergreen Pouches, the classic size version, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, not buying them again. Um, like I said, coming up will be Longhorn Wintergreen Pouches. Uh, and I believe that's, uh, you know, I have other thing. I have some Cope Min I just finished up, but uh, that's about it. So I have some some of the chews and stuff that I reviewed that are in the drawer. I have some Husky straight left over, but I don't have anything else new um, besides that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you like it. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.